And for the other side of the aisle, let's bring in Texas Republican Congressman and Ranking Member of the House Ways and Means Committee, Kevin Brady. Congressman, welcome. Good to see you, Mike. Thanks uh, for having me. What are your biggest concerns with the Democrats' partisan multi-trillion dollar spending and tax package? Yeah, I think much of what you heard just isn't is, isn't accurate on the ground. So one, I think this dreadful uh, jobs report is another nail in the coffin for moderate Democrats. Certainly, President Biden is now a million jobs short of what he promised from his last $2 trillion giveaway. Why would you trust him to create more jobs? Secondly, small businesses, big businesses, manufacturing uh, cannot find the jobs they need or the workers they need. And in the new tax and spend bill, it'll make it even harder because Democrats are proposing that to pay people more to stay home than to go to work. Obviously, prices really tough on families. New report out that uh, the average family making $70,000 because the, of the Biden inflation uh, basically has to pay an extra utility bill or pay as if they're going to the grocery store uh, additional time each month and inflation is on uh, track to be the highest in 40 years. Mm -hmm. So the, the more Americans learn about this tax and spend bill from the giveaway to the wealthy, uh, to the hammering of small businesses, driving jobs overseas, and all those higher prices landing on working families, the less popular every day it becomes. As you well know, uh, passing something in the House, it's about the math, and Democrats have a single digit majority do they find a way to get this massive spending and tax package done? I think there is a very good chance that the tax and spending bill will collapse. One, because the American public is starting to see what's in it. And two, moderate Democrats really do understand they're on their own. Uh, they won't be coming back. And no one from the president, Speaker Pelosi, or their progressive colleagues really care about them. Secondly, I think by the end of the year, uh, there will be some type of bipartisan infrastructure bill, maybe not the one that uh, is proposed, but one that really includes true infrastructure that can bring both parties together. But I predict we have uh, uh, a, a better than even chance of defeating this tax and spending bill if there are any moderates left in the House who will fight for their local small businesses and American jobs. We've seen some Republican senators in, in the United States Senate in favor of that bipartisan infrastructure package. Why do House Republicans, in large, oppose it? Yeah, for two reasons. One, it was bipartisan in the Senate. In the House, of course, it's not. Speaker Pelosi and the Democrats haven't had a single conversation with Republicans in the House about what is true infrastructure. But here's the main reason. Um, in the House, infrastructure is tied to the tax and spending bill. The president did it again just the other day. So Republicans, we support roads and bridges. We don't support roads and taxes. And in the House, they're one and the same. Okay, to the border, you represent the great state of Texas. What are your concerns as you see this going on yet week after week at the border with lots of folks coming over and reports tens of thousands more are making their way towards our southern border? Every, I have never seen it like this in my lifetime. Every month you think it can't get worse, it does. Uh, the president continues to ignore this border crisis, but it's more than that. It is, it is a sex trafficking crisis, it is a drug crisis, it is a criminal gang crisis. States like ours pay the price, which is why I really uh, am pleased Governor Abbott and the legislature continues to step up, but we shouldn't have to. This is President Biden's crisis. Uh, it is affecting everyone in America because these drugs uh, and criminal gangs are going to lots of communities across this country for the life of me. I, don't, I think this is why the president's approval rating has just plummeted on the border, on the economy, and on competence. Congressman, where's Vice President Harris? Isn't she supposed to be running this issue? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, she didn't even come close to the border when she traveled down here. She's running away from it like nobody's business, because the truth of the matter is the White House doesn't want to solve this. Uh, they're ignoring it despite the humanitarian uh, 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 penalty and punishment from this uh, and impact. Uh, they think this is good politics. It's awful for people. It's awful for security. And I think it's going to it's one of the reasons it's going to cost them the election in the House next November. Congressman Kevin Brady of the great state of Texas. I love your backdrop, sir. 
Thank you, sir. It's good to see you, Mike. Have a great day. Thank you.